a month ago now, just after I built the magnetic loop out of copper uh, tube, I put out a shout to my local repeater asking uh, if anyone had any Andrews um, coax because I wanted to build a, a loop using coax cable. And uh, a real nice gentleman by the name of Graham uh, G3VKV um, piped up saying that he had a probably about a six meter length if I wanted to use it. Um, and this is it. This is the six meter length of Andrew's um, coax, which I'm going to make the loop out of. So I thank you very much for this, Graham. Much, much appreciated. Have you seen the size of the core on this? My goodness. Oh, fabulous stuff. Anyway, that's um, some very serious coax. Right, so what I'm going to try to do is make two um, loops, one continuous loop, um, about a metre in diameter. And I've made some 3D printed um, spaces for this. So that's the 3D uh, printed spacer for the bottom or the top, depending on how you look at it. Some side spaces. And, uh, okay, this is the idea. which to manipulate it all. <clears throat> so if anyone's ever worked with this stuff, you know it's uh, pretty near impossible. Goodness gracious me, that was hard work. Okay, it's not perfectly square yet. Um, Here's the idea. Okay. Yeah, that needs to be shortened on this side or lengthened on the other, I should say. Okay. I'm soldering some wires on here so that I can connect a, um, a variable capacitor, uh, either airspaced or, or uh, uh, the trombone uh, variety, which I made in a, uh, in a previous um, incarnation of the loop. But I'm hoping to actually use a, a, uh, an airspaced uh, variable capacitor.
going from previous experience, they all seem to need to be a bit... What's the word I'm trying to find? Flattened. So, we'll do that on this one. So what we got is on our hoop, sort of in the middle-ish. I've placed it with a loop, a bit of a heart shape, but it's not connected. Okay. There's no um, capacitor on it. It's purely as its resident state, and I wanted to see what uh, what it was like. So please bear with. I uh, got to show you this, although it's resident at uh, 15 megahertz. Um, I haven't got a capacitor on the bottom of it yet to start adjusting anything. Um, I have got to show you this. I know it's a competition weekend, but I think it's receiving quite well. Anyway, dare not transmit back, obviously. Oh, so there you go, a fairly promising start. Um, what, of course, I would like is uh, to find an airspace capacitor. Uh, something like this, um, to which I can then connect to the uh, to the to the bottom uh, via the two um, um, leads that you saw me um, soldering on, and that would pretty much complete the um, uh, the loop. Uh, still, you know, the search goes on. They seem to be very expensive, so I, what I may do is actually construct my own. And if I do go down that route, I shall um, film that and show you how I've uh, gone about it. OK, that's it for now. Thanks very much. Um, please uh, give me a thumbs up if you uh, like the video or uh, better still subscribe and give me a thumbs up. However, if you didn't like it, uh, that one seems to work as well, uh, unfortunately. <laughs> OK, you have a good day. Um, bye bye for now.